everyone, it's Lexi. So I don't know about you, but I'm like a bit of a nosy person. Like I love it when people post these videos. So judging by the title, you know it's gonna be like what's in my purse. So I think these are really kind of neat to see because I don't know, I think it's really, you get to see, you get to learn a lot about a person by what's in their bag. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So I had the same Roots purse um, for like six, seven or eight years and I recently just purchased this new one. I had that Roots one for a long time. I went, was invited to like this leadership forum in DC. So I got like this nice Roots bag that I found on sale um, that was like a similar style to this one. And then recently I was like, you know what? I need a grown up bag. I've had this bag for a really long time. So the bag like that I was looking for, I like kind of like, like these saddle type bags. So you'll see like there, but um, but yeah, and it had to be durable, something that will last me a long time. So I don't know, I looked on the Roots website, but there wasn't any like in that style that I was looking for. So I kind of did some searching around and I stumbled upon the Fossil Preston bag. This is the small one. I think they have a small and a large. The large one's like pretty big, but I think this one's a perfect one. I like the ones that are like really compact. And like, I don't really like to carry a lot of stuff with me. Like I have a bigger, like the really big, like Roots leather ones that are like my travel bags in a sense. Or if I'm going somewhere like where I need to carry a lot of stuff, I'll bring those. But this is like my main, like everyday purse. And I like it because it has um, like the flat part here and some straps here. Like it goes like, like this is one big pouch. But I don't know like what you would put in there to be quite honest, but yeah, and then it has like this backward or in the back zipper as well. And then yeah, so it just opens up there. And what's nice is that you can it's like has adjustable width as well. So these zippers like you can make it smaller or bigger um, for now. So yeah, I really like this one. Um, they're like it's really good quality too. Like it's a really good quality leather. And I got it on sale. It was originally like a hundred and like sixty. It was like I want to say it was like pretty expensive and then it was on sale um I ended up getting like 50% off so it ended up being like around $80 which I think is pretty good for this purse because I'll probably use this for like another like six or seven years so I needed one that will last me a long time so let's just go into it so I'll kind of open it up here it also has like another little compartment here that's where I usually kind of will keep my phone sometimes um but yeah, and it's also like a crossbody with adjustable straps. I'm sure you probably could have figured that out. But yeah, so you open it up. So this is what it looks like on the inside. It has this part here, as I said. And then it also has a back zipper as well. And then one big compartment there. So I'll just kind of show you what I have in there. And it has like the magnetic little clasp as well. So I really like this one because I was like, I can go with a lot of things. And so yeah, I was really happy with this one. So I'll kind of show you what I have inside. So first up, I have like two sets of wallets. One's like my everyday because I don't bring my purse with me when I'm at school. So this is like my school one, my ID. This is like the Kate Spade um, like little wallet thing. So it has like my IDs in the front and then I have like my school ID and then like my insurance card and then like my credit card just in case. And then, so this is like one that I just bring with me like everywhere. So I just have that in here and then I keep my locker key where I keep all of like my stuff for school and apartment and mailbox and then I have like a USB attached here. So this is one I bring with me everywhere because I usually don't always bring my purse with me. So this one's easy. I can just throw in my pocket or my backpack and it's really compact and it's easy if I'm just going out and I just need this then it's really easy. So that one was pretty good and it's actually not that expensive for Kate Spade. So it's like, found it on Amazon. If I can find it, I'll link it down below if you're interested. But they have like, it has like this polka dot pattern, which I like as well. So yeah. And next is like my main wallet. I've had this one since like, I want to say grade six. Um, so it's been like, I've had this for like 11 years. Like it's been like, I've had this wallet for a long time. It has like my old school ID. Let me just flip it around so you can't see but like it has like my old school ID I keep in the front um and then like this is from like American Eagle like a long time ago as I said and then usually like like once I'm done with school like I'll convert convert everything in here so this is where I used to keep my ID and I have like my money then I have like my other credit cards like my Canadian ones and 
all that and then some gift cards in here as well this is like if I need like everything that one's just like my everyday one if I'm going to be going out I'll bring this with me as well next I also have my iPod touch I think this is like the second or third generation um yeah I just bring this with me I think I like we were recently where like I did like a little trip with um some of my friends so I brought my iPod and I was like the DJ um yeah because I don't I have like an Android type phone but um so I can sync my iTunes with Google Play Music but that's like through the internet so I didn't want to use all the data but I just have everything on here as I said like I love this one I've had it for so long too this was probably like maybe 10 years I've had this for a very long time and I have like a bones it says like talk to the hands as toy some bones as my little background there because I thought that one was a little funny so next we also have my cell phone in here as I said I have the Samsung Galaxy S6 and there's a little tucker there I really like this phone I had like a smaller case on it but I dropped it in the parking lot and I ended up chipping like the um, lens on my phone so I had to get that replaced so then I got this indestructible OtterBox thing that's like a military grade it makes my phone super thick but I feel a little better but I might like once this one's kind of used up then I'll like downgrade to like maybe like this slimmer auto box um otter box because this one's just a little too big but I really like it I like the Samsung phones I had the S4 for like three years three or four years but then like I was like I'm having this phone till the day I die but then like the like it just ended up getting faulty and I had to really like remove the battery like every other time because it just wouldn't work. Um, but yeah, so I really like the S6. I've had it for like a year and a half now. It's really good. I really like it. Like I said, I use like the Google um, Play so I can sync my iTunes to it and you can like download it and I have like 120 gigabytes but I was like, yeah, save time because my playlist is always changing but I have like all that on here as well. So if I'm like attached to Wi-Fi, I'll use that. So I have my cell phone in here. I don't think I, I said I don't keep anything in here. This is usually where I keep my cell phone if I need it. Next, I have some five peppermint gum. I have like these like everywhere. I love gum. Um, I have some hand sanitizer in here. This one I think pink chiffon from Bath and Body Works. I've had this for a long time. I don't really like the smell of this one. Um, I'm trying to just like use it up. I love the dark cherry merlot. That one's on my backpack, but this one is like okay. So the smell sometimes a little bothers me a little bit. Next, I have my MAC lipstick in here. This is one I'm actually wearing today in C Sheer in here. I really like this. I'll kind of show you. I'll do a little swatch, but I really like it. It's like a very natural if you're trying to get into lipsticks. This one's really good. I really like it. This is like my going out one. So I'm going out a little later today. So I kind of packed already. And then I have another like chapstick thing. This is the Moisture Splash um, Lip Infusion by Blistex. I've had this for a long time. I probably should throw it out. Then I have like a mechanical pencil and then like a pen as well. So that's it. That's in like the big like compartment thing. I don't know what I keep back in here to be quite honest. I have like this little mirror. The mirror is like popped out. I was gonna say, I don't even remember putting that in there. And then I have some I have a gift card for Panera for $75 back there. And then I have some lady stuff just in case emergencies. I don't really, I use like the Diva Cup now. Um, oh, and I also have some change back here too. Look at this. Nice. Oh, and I found 40 bucks in here. What is this? like a gold mine back there so like I just like I said I just have some lady stuff back there um, just in case and then I don't remember if I kept anything in here I don't know I think I this is where I had all my appointment stuff yep this was like for like my knee surgery I had like 10 appointments over two weeks so like you can see like these were all like my appointments so yeah I don't need that anymore so that's good so yeah, that's everything that's in my purse. Uh, I'll have, if you're interested in this bag, I'll have it linked down below and for the Kate Spade stuff as well. So yeah, I'm very pleased with this. I really like it. Um, yeah, I was looking into getting like, cause I have to do clinical rotation. So I need like, a, like not like a backpack, but like one of those like boho bags, things that adults use. So and I was looking into some from Fossil, but I'll see cause they're pretty pricey. So. Yeah, I'm very pleased with this. It's the perfect bag for me. I'm going to be using this for like many, many years to come. But yeah, you can see I don't keep a lot of stuff in my bag actually. Like a lot of it, 
I don't think I really need a lot of it. It's just like wallet. The bare necessities I keep in my purse. So yeah, that's it guys. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and let me know some of the weird stuff you keep in your purse because I think that's always neat to see. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.